Hey guys, it's Jason from DrPreMed.com. Thanks for joining and I want to speak to the people who are non-traditional pre-med students or you need to retake some of your coursework on what you should and shouldn't be doing to make sure that you actually get into medical school because I've been getting a lot of emails or comments or people just reaching out to me with some of their plans that they want to do to make sure they're going to get into medical school and I actually tell them, hey, you know what, you're actually doing the wrong thing what you're doing right now is actually going to hurt your chances of getting into medical school. So I want to make sure that we're all on the same page, we all know what we're doing, and we're doing everything possible to make sure that we can get into medical school and realize our dream and goal of becoming a doctor. And so I want to talk to you about is what type of coursework should you be doing if you're a non-traditional pre-med student, you're a career changer, or you've already graduated from undergrad and you decide I want to go to medical school because I want to become a doctor. What I'm finding out is that a lot of students are thinking, hey, you know what? I'm going to take my pre-med classes at the local community college. The um, time that the class is offered, work for my schedule, and also the classes are a lot cheaper. However, I want to tell you that that's not what you want to do. Adcoms don't want to see you taking your pre-med courses at a community college or online. So right off the bat, if that's what you're thinking or if that's what you're doing, you need to stop right now because that's not good and it's not going to help you get into medical school. The reason being is that Adcoms, they're very conservative, not like political conservative, but just in what they're looking for. They're really risk averse and getting into medical school is extremely competitive where 60% of first time applicants are rejected. So as an ad com, when we're looking at your application, we're actually looking for reasons to reject your application. And so by you taking courses at a community college, that's just not what we want to see because the uh, variance of how difficult a community college is just varies across the spectrum and that's not going to give us a good indicator if you're ready to handle the rigorous coursework curriculum of a medical school and so what you need to do is you need to take your courses that are pre-med at a four-year college or university now any courses that you need that aren't required for pre-med yes go ahead and take those at um, your local community college is going to save you money or it's going to be more convenient for you. You can go ahead and do that. But the core courses that you need to get into medical school, those need to be taken at a four-year college, universe, college or university. And also, remember how I said medical school is extremely competitive? You have to remember that if I'm an adcom and I have two applicants, similar numbers, similar background, but the only difference is one student took their pre-med courses at a four-year college or university, and the other took theirs at a community college. Which applicant do you think I'm most likely to say yes to? I'm gonna go with the person who went to the four-year college or university just because I know that I'm more confident that the courses they've taken at this four-year college or university is going to be a little bit more rigorous than what I would expect at a community college. Now you might say, Jason, that's unfair, that's being biased. Who says that just because you went to a four-year college or university that the courses is harder or you're going to be more prepared for medical school? But you know what? That's just a system we operate in and it's not for you to try to change the rules to convince somebody otherwise because adcons, again, they're very conservative, so they're not going to care about that they're going to just say okay four-year college versus community college we know what applicant we're choosing and so that's what you need to keep in the back of your mind when you're going through the process of being a career changer or non-traditional student you have to think about this from where you're taking your courses because what I like to tell you guys is a lot of times students you're thinking about things from your own personal perspective like it's going to save me money if I go to community college the courses are offered when it's more convenient for me where a lot of times students say they're working or other things like that and even courses are just a lot easier for them but 
I give you the overall perspective. I'm showing you and giving you insight on how an ad comp thinks. Because if you're a school and you're getting over 10,000 applications for over 130 spots in your class, you got to weed out people fast. And so they're going to look for things. That community college, out. Out. You're just going to say, we're going to reject this person regardless of how well you do at community college because it's just not rigorous enough and we just need to whittle down these 13, 10,000 applications to the ones that we can work with. So that's an easy way to get rid of rid of applicants out there. And so again, what you want to do is you want to go to four-year college or university for your pre-med courses. Now, if you have more questions, feel free to reach out to me. Make sure you get on my um, Dr. Pre-Med, um, Pre-Med Grand Rounds, my free newsletter, where you, got, where you get a lot more free tips and advice to help you make sure that you're the most prepared applicant for medical school. And the reason why I made this video is because I just see way too many students who are just uninformed about the process of getting into medical school as a career changer, non-traditional student or somebody who wants to repeat courses you want to make sure that you're doing it at a four-year college or university if you're in the process of having to do anything that's your core courses for medical school again this is Jason with drpremed.com if you have any questions or comments put them in the comments below I look forward to reading those but make sure you definitely get on my free newsletter pre-med grand, pre grand rounds I have more info tips and advice it's going to make sure that you skyrocket to the top when it comes to being the ideal candidate who ad comes one to admit to medical school.